But first, we want to get right to Chief Meteorologist Mike Haddad. Mike, snow totals mm -hmm. coming in tonight. We are mm -hmm. getting some updated numbers. Yeah, and they've been dramatic in terms of the change from this morning when we only had a couple of inches in many spots to those two to three inch per hour snowfall bands. And the end result, we did top off over a foot of snow officially in Rye coming in at 13 and a half inches. Uh, Windham and also New Ipswich at 12 and a half. Deerfield at 10 inches of snow in the Queen City. In and around Bedford, Manchester, Goffstown, Merrimack, all between about 8 and 9 or 10 inches of snow. Very difficult to measure because, of course, in addition to the falling snow, we had those strong winds. And you can see on the backside of this nor'easter, yeah, the snow is breaking apart. There's very little in terms of additional accumulation from here on out through the course of the next hour to two hours. A few more snow showers, mainly in the Monadnock region and far north. The big focus from here on out, though, will be the falling temperatures as skies clear and the stubborn winds continuing. So you'll notice not only do the uh, snow showers move out, but clouds begin to break apart. And again, the focus between now and early tomorrow morning is some impact weather due to the bitterly cold air and wind. For much more on that, we'll bring in Jacqueline to break down those numbers. Jackie? Yeah, that's right. Impact weather on the way as we head into Sunday morning due to the cold wind chills that we are expecting as we head through those early morning hours. Overnight low temperatures, the air temperature dropping below zero for many spots near to slightly above as you head south in the state and a wind chill advisory in effect north and west in New Hampshire where wind chill values early tomorrow could drop into the 20s below zero. So a very cold start expected early on Sunday, but it's also very cold out there right now as we're ending this Saturday night. This is what it currently feels like outside. It feels like it's below zero across the state in the single digits below as you head through Concord and Manchester eight below in Plymouth is what it feels like right now and the air temperatures themselves will also continue to drop near or below zero. So just very cold conditions. Make sure you're bundled up if you have to head out tomorrow. If you have any cleanup to do after this storm, make sure that you are wearing all those warm layers because uh, it's going to be chilly as we head into Sunday. More on the